Welcome to the Swagger Report. Welcome! This is 2016. 16! May, a little bit of June. I don't know. I'm going to tell you this much. you got to find a way to get some runs soon. Amen. May Gray, June Gloom, San Diego, wake up. Report, that's it in a nutshell. we got to get some runs. Lay it on us. It's been really interesting. A lot of different players have been coming out in the different times in this month, and it's been a really interesting time. I'm telling you, some players are good, some players are bad, but early predictions like we made have been true. What do you think about Melvin Upton? Let's talk about that guy. Digging it, digging it. Love the way that he's been like... Yeah, yeah, we saw the last trigger report. But I'm telling you this much. Has he got better? Has he made the team... Has he got us out of last place? He's the all-star, baby. He has, has not he... got us out of all... No, no. That's not the point. That right, is the point. Right now, he's driving and trying to make the rest of the players conceive the same exact t- kind of fashion, right? They want to be able to take that and drive themselves forward, and they do it by leading by example. You got to. He's made some over-the-wall catches, but the bottom line is I'm still disappointed. I think he still has more of a ceiling to reach. Steal home, steal home. Well, that brings steal us back to that point. Home. That was a beautiful thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The man of steel. He was honestly, it was a good deke. It was a left-handed pitcher, so he had his back. Mm-hmm. He took his time, looked at his plates, ran it deep, and he hesitated, which you never usually get safe at home if Amen. you hesitate. He hesitated, me. made it Better with her, and put his hand out, his right hand, and then switched it. Me. And tagged home place. He saw me kind of out of the corner of his eye. Thought I was fake breaking, but he said once he heard me yell, he knew I was coming, so it worked out. It was like watching the Matrix, baby. It was man. great. It was great. It was King Storm and Bell Bow. So the bottom line That's is we're trying steal. to keep on, oh. keep on pushing for the strike report. You know what? We're still in last place, but we're getting some wins. We still like Andy Green. What can you just say? It's an anomaly. So you know how I feel. I'm digging what I'm seeing, though. Andy Green is actually playing percentages at a higher level. It's about a low percentage versus high percentage. Those things which, in baseball, over the long run, are going to get you in a better place. Now, right now, pitching hasn't been performing when hitting's been happening, and hitting hasn't been happening when pitching is performing. So what we're getting is into one of those San Diego grooves where, you know, there's sometimes the waves are high, but the wind is blowing out. But let's be honest. If we're going to get in a groove in San Diego, we got to have a good pitching. Amen. We gotta have pitching that's lights out. Like we gotta have pitching that's like non-existent for runs for the other team. Big game, James. No, but that's what no, that's what we had when we had good teams in 2005 as well as in 2000 or 1998. Right. We had pitchers that were lights out. Well, San Diego weather permits it. We need it's a pitcher city. Hey man, it's, a, it's supposed to be a pitcher's park. Even though the modifications that they've made, San Diego still has the advantage of having deeper, deeper center and, uh, and right and left field get, um, alleys. So right now, pitchers are benefited, but it has not paid off.